Hi guys, welcome to Tube Central. I am Ishaq. In this video, I will show you how to use components in your Angular application. Components used to provide application logic of your Angular application. I have set up my project using the seed project I did in my previous video. If you haven't watched that video, please go and check that video or download the project using GitHub link I have provided in the description. Once you set up the project, right click on your app folder and go to add and select new item. From client side, select a type to file and give a name for your component. Uh, I'll name it as student component. So after that you can click add. Once you created the type script file, you have to create a class called student component. Once you created your components class, you have to export this class because this component will not visible to other components within your application. So in order to export, you have to provide export keyword front of your class keyword. Once you exported this component, this can be used within your other components. Even though you exported this class, Angular compiler will not understand this as a component. It because we haven't provided any metadata for Angular compiler. To provide metadata, Angular uses decorators. So we have to import component decorator from Angular Core module. To do that, we have to simply provide an import statement uh, top of your class. Now we can use this uh, component decorator in our application. This component decorator takes an object, so we need to pass an object and you can see this uh, object have several other properties. These are called metadata properties. These are used by Angular compiler. I will not use all these properties in this example. So I will use only template, template URL and selector properties to provide information to Angular compiler. This selector property is the uh, CSS selector for this component so i'll name it as a student and you need to provide a template so template property is used for templating if you need uh, this template property to be an external html file you can use this template url so at the moment i will use this template property and provide an inline template Now our component is ready to use. Now let's see how can we use this component. I will import this component in our app.component. component. Now we can use this uh, component within our template. You, here you can see we have uh, provided an inline template within a single code. The problem with single code is we can't provide multi-line uh, templates. So if you can see here, it will show an error if we press enter. To avoid this, we can use back code. So I will change the single code with back code. So now we can use uh, multi-line templates in our application. To use the student component within our app component, we can simply use the student component selector within our template. So I'll call this here. Now let's run and see what is the output. Here it's not loading our application properly. We'll see uh, if there is an error. Here it says uh, student is not a known element. So there are uh, it provides two solutions. If student is an Angular component, then specify, then verify that it is a part of this module. So what it says is we have to add this student component to our app module class. So otherwise Angular will not identify this as a uh, component so we, we can uh, import our student component here ok 
Okay. Okay, now we have imported. After that, we have to add it into our declaration array. Now we'll refresh and see what's happening. So you can see uh, now, now this application is running properly, but there is a problem with our template. We'll go and check. It is in a component, so here we have to make it like this. Yeah, now it's working perfectly. Uh, now let's see some additional metadata properties of our component. As I said, if you need an external uh, template like uh, external HTML page, so we can specify using the template URL. So you, what you have to do, you have to simply specify the path of this uh, template. So I may put it under templates. Slash student component.html. So here this should be within the uh, ww root. So I will create a folder called template. Within that I will add the new HTML file. I will delete that and I will add this HTML part in my template. Now we can remove this template property. Now we will run and see. You can see still it's working. Now let's see what's happening in our network tab. Here, uh, you can do a refresh. Here, you can see Angular is loading student.component.html internally. Now, let's see other metadata properties that can be used in our component. So if you go to your component and type control space, you will see there are several uh, properties. If you go to angular.io, you can always get more information about these properties. Under docs, go to API reference then select a type as decorate here it will list all decorators and select the component decorator here you can see there are all these metadata properties and its description so inputs list the all the input properties that can be bound to our component and output is used to provide output uh, properties then, Select is our series selector and style and style URL. Uh, this is similar to uh, HT template and template URL. Styles used to provide CSS for our component element. Uh, styles URL used to provide external CSS files to our component. I will also use other metadata properties in our future tutorial. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, don't forget to like and share with your friends and communities you know. Okay guys, I hope this helps you to understand Angular component and if you have any question, don't forget to comment. Thank you very much for watching this video.